Producing drinking water from seawater, known as desalination, is expected to become essential in securing water resources for a growing population, especially in water-stressed regions. But for this to come true, we need to find solutions. Currently, desalination faces two main challenges. High energy use and its resulting financial costs, as well as the environmental impacts due to the pollutant gas emissions and the brine effluent produced. To address these challenges, water mining works with two large-scale exhibition sites, one in Lampedusa, Italy, and one in Almeria, Spain. In both sites, while creating high-quality water, the brine effluent is eliminated and valuable minerals and salts are extracted to be used in other sectors, thus offsetting part of the treatment costs. Furthermore, the site in Spain runs its facilities on solar renewable energy, and the site in Italy on the recovery of waste heat, thus reducing the energy and financial costs of the salination. In recent decades, a growing population, urban expansion, and higher living standards have increased urban water use. However, water use also depends on the local climate, the efficiency of public supply services, the residents' consumption habits, and the technology used. Through innovative technologies, urban wastewater can be treated and reused, returning it to the water supply system, creating a circular water use process. Combined with the recovery of valuable raw materials from the treatment, we can increase water supply whilst minimizing waste and treatment costs. To implement these solutions, three large-scale exhibition sites have been established within the water mining project in Portugal, Cyprus and Spain. These case studies promote water use efficiency and water use whilst focusing on energy production such as solar power and biogas and the recovery of raw materials such as phosphates, salts and bio-based polymers. Of the total water use in the EU, only 10% is consumed in urban areas. The other 90% is used for industrial purposes. Given the prominence of industrial water use, the development of innovative technologies to reuse water from these sectors is key. Taking advantage of the low water quality needed by some industrial processes, water mining will test what is called zero liquid discharge process. The aim is to link wastewater producers with consumers in industrial areas to reduce water needs and wastewater discharge and create pollution-free brine effluent. A large-scale water mining case study within the Rotterdam industrial cluster in the Netherlands is a good example of this process. Currently, industrial wastewater from the production of epoxy resins is sent to a biotreatment plant before discharge, and the salt is discarded. However, water mining will apply innovative technology to purify the wastewater from the epoxy resin industry, creating quality brine to be used by the chemical production company Novian, thereby contributing recycled water and salt for the production of fluorine and caustic important base chemicals needed for epoxy resin production, thus closing the loop of industrial wastewater management and ensuring circularity in water and salt consumption. This presentation, uh, a lot has happened, but there's also still a lot that needs to be done. Demonstration factory is a key step in the scale up. Structure the market and enable the penetration of secondary raw materials like calmera or phosphate. The water mining project opens a new path to achieve the water and consumption development goals. A path that follows a circular economy approach, uses cutting edge technology and promotes social engagement through the so-called communities of practices. There, relevant actors gather together 
enabling a rich interaction focused on the case studies. And citizens can experience the newly created water technologies on the living labs.